welcome to my tutorial on Karara 7. Uh, just me want to whip right now from Karara 5 to 7 because they're pretty much basically the same. Just, well, yeah. Okay, well, this is for like people who don't really know much about Karara and are brand new to it. So, let's just go to File and click New. You see you've got your Landscape Wizard and Presets. We're just going to go to Empty Scene. We're just going to open a medium sized scene. We're going to open an empty scene. Let me just resize this. Okay, see here you've got your default light. For your scene, this is a distant light, which is basically like sunlight and all. It affects every object in the atmosphere, depending on its direct. Well, it affects anything, and it just you know, hits in a certain direction, like the sun would. Right up here, this is where you can insert your basic objects, like a sphere, a cube, cone, cylinder, and suck cube, and stuff. Like it's not actually a basic shape, because Guns on my sides, it is again. Clear ground and the infinite plane there you see. It's just below right there. Which is just the same as a plane, only it never ends in the scene. So we're gonna hang just we're gonna go ahead and uh, insert a plane and we're gonna put in a sphere. Now this is like this is your scene here. See your objects just appear move them around. Over here is how you can uh, change shape of object. Well, rotate objects and such and you can scale them down. If you want to scale them proportionally you grab that corner. If you want to scratch it you'll get it by the side like this. And you've got to rotate. And then these three aren't really important. It's from Universal Manipulator, Eye Dropper and Eye Cajun. Create Eye Cajun. And over here you've got your different camera movements, so there's YZ which kind of makes it look like a helicopter shot and you zoom in like this. And then you've got your track XY, kind of move it around like that. Track XZ, zoom in and out. And you've got your dolly, and depending on what object you're dollying around, it'll like rotate around it and keep it in a center. So if I want to rotate around this light, keeps it in the same position there. If I click out and just do it in the scene. Kinda does it the same as well. So uh now we show you the rest of the jacks. These four here are for modeling. You've got your spline modeling, your vertex modeling, meta ball, and formula. Here you've got your 3D text, and I'll quickly put something in there. And it's good for making logos and 3D logos and 3D intros. Just delete that. Then there's particle, emitter, terrains, plants, volumetric clouds, fire, surface replicator, replicator, hair, ocean, different types of lights, different types of cameras. Directional forces, gravity for like physics and stuff, target helper object, bone and simia physics, and finally 3D paint. And let me show you the interface for all this here. If I want to change what I want to look at, if I want to look at the scene from the left, if I want to look at it from the right here, you just click this one there from camera one. Now, if I don't want to, if I'm in between animating and I don't want to leave the I don't want to change the camera section, you'll just go to the director's camera, which will allow you to go around the whole scene. As you can see, the camera's, as you can see the camera's right over there. And that just gives you some freedom, so you can see from different angles. Then you, over here you've got collide with different objects, which will be handy. So it's so you know that the object isn't going to be floating because sometimes you can get fooled by animating and you know you, you don't get it quite right that kind of confuses you 